Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. I'm recording this on the day that the Gratitude Jordan 11s drop. Usually, the Holiday 11 is a difficult pair to pick up, even though Jordan brand typically gives us a whole lot of stock for these pairs. It's just one of the most hype pairs of the holiday season. I kept hearing people say that they would sit, but here this afternoon, I don't see them sit in many places. But anyhow, if you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Gratitude Jordan 11s. So I was able to hit for these on the sneakers shock drop and I already did a full review of these. A buddy of mine messaged me earlier this week while I was working. He was like, hey, do you still have those Gratitude 11s in a 10 and a half? And I did, I didn't do anything with them. And he pretty much begged me if he could buy them off of me for $250. At that time, I kept hearing how many numbers there were and all that stuff. I was pretty sure that I would be able to get my size at my local finish line. So I did go ahead and hook him up. He was in need and I don't know, sometimes it just feels nice to help somebody out. But anyhow, he came out to my house immediately and grabbed him. And then as soon as he started driving away, I started thinking, oh man, I really hope I can secure my pair. And on top of that, I kept seeing QC issues, like the Fomer Simpson video. If you haven't seen that, you got to look at it because he got a pair from StockX and it looks like the Jumpman is like melting off the shoe. But anyhow, I started getting nervous that maybe my new pair, if I could get a pair, wouldn't be as clean. So today I want to look at the QC on these. I have seen multiple people saying that there has been QC issues, but I've seen a couple of pairs and so far up until today, they've all looked really good. But anyhow, I was able to get my pair through EA on finish line. I actually had like three different opportunities to use EA on finish line. The first time, which is the one that I did, was for the in-store pickup, the day of release. Then the two days after that, it gave me EA for the ship to me option. This wasn't a shoe that I needed to have multiple pairs of, but I definitely wanted to have my own pair. It is expensive, 230 bucks before tax, that's expensive. I was able to secure my pair for in-store. I went and picked them up. They did let me use coupons. I heard a lot of people saying that they won't let you use coupons on this pair. They did let me use my coupons, so I did get some money off, but all in after tax and everything, they still cost me like 220 bucks. Here's another look at the tag, Air Jordan 11 Retro. The colors are white, metallic, gold, and black. I went with a size 10 and a half, which is the same size that I got on the shock drop, but like I said, I got rid of that pair. I mentioned in the first review, it does just look like a mid box, which, eh, you know, I would have preferred something nice like the Jubilee box or something like that, but anyhow, that's what we got for that. However, when you open the box, you do see that under the lid it says thank you, and then the paper has a whole bunch of different languages for thank you as well. So anyway, enough talking about that, enough talking about my day. Here they are. I am very pleased to report this pair looks just as good as the 10 and a half that I had before. So I feel good and at ease for hooking up my buddy with that pair the other day. I think they look great. The quality is really good. I really love the leather on this upper. I think that is such a nice touch and it's something that we don't see very much. One of the reasons why I like the cool gray so much is just because it's got that nice new buck for the upper or whatever. I like the look of mesh, but sometimes that's so touchy and once you get something on that, it's really hard to get the marks off of it and it's really hard to get them bright white again. But with these, I feel like you'll be able to keep them looking brand new for a long time. Not only is the base of the upper white leather, but for these loops that kind of come in from these straps up from the bottom that's also leather and because of that that'll be much easier to clean than what the canvas straps are some of the qc issues that i saw was people talking about their shoes having dents in them or else the patent leather was all scratched up or misshapen and these have a beautiful shape in my opinion they're very consistent from one shoe to another and I really think the QC is good. I don't have a melting jump man coming off the back, so that's a relief. There's the other one. 
I saw a lot of people actually calling these bricks and actually saying that they were going to sit for a really long time. Then there were people on the other side of the spectrum that said, you're crazy. There's no way these are going to sit. I saw early this morning, somebody was saying that stock on a size 10 and a half was over a hundred thousand pairs. And that is just insane to me. I know they usually do really high numbers of the holiday 11s, but over a hundred thousand pairs in one size, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but I don't know if that's true. And like I said, I just got home. We actually grabbed a new vehicle for my wife today. So we were out running around doing that. I looked on sneakers. I looked on Nike. I looked on finish line and I didn't see any adult pairs sitting. So maybe these did sell out maybe they just took them down to kind of make it look like they sold out so let me know in the comments if they did sell out if you were able to get a pair i don't know how easy or how difficult it was because by that time i was already running errands and trying to get stuff done for the day so let me know how it went one of the really nice things about being able to reserve a pair for in-store is just you don't have to deal with the madness so because i had my pair reserved i really have no idea how the drop went but i'm really wondering if they did sit for a little while or if they got snatched up pretty quick because either way it wouldn't surprise me but the mass amount of stock if that's true then i wouldn't be surprised if they sat for a little while i think this outsole is gorgeous i love this kind of milky translucent rubber for the outsole of course we have the black herringbone under the forefoot and the heel and then in the midfoot, we have that carbon fiber plate, and it's got a little bit of gold tint to it. I really like that. Then we also see the Jumpman underneath that translucent material. Same midsole as always, the same texture that we always get for Jordan 11 midsoles. Nothing really to review there. Then, of course, we got that nice black patent leather. We've got a tumbled leather upper and I really like that, but then these straps that hook into the lacing system are all a smooth white leather, and I think that looks really nice. The tongue is more of a white tumbled leather. On the tongue it says Jumpman Jordan, and then it's got a gold Jumpman there in the middle. On the back we see that classic 11 font for the 23, and then we have our gold Jumpman. They've got white rope style laces in them, but I wouldn't put anything else in there. And the sock liner is black as well as the insole. I really like how on the back of the tongue, it says thank you down both sides. And it says quality basketball product created in gratitude by the greatest player ever. I think that was pretty cool. I like that little touch. I'm really glad to see that the quality on this pair was just as good as the first pair that I got. I'm glad they made a whole lot of these, and I hope that everybody that wanted a pair was able to get a pair. I think it's a great looking shoe. I'm glad that I have it in my collection, and let me know if you were able to get a pair, and let me know how you thought the release went today. I appreciate y'all watching, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.